Hi, my name's Luke, and I'm gonna show you how to make this clock. All right, so to start with, I just had to pull apart this old pallet that I got from out the back of mum and dad's place. It's, it's been in the weather for a while, which is why it was green. It was kind of moldy, it was kind of gross, and I, like you can see, it, it just it wanted to break every time I got the hammer under there. Once I got the front face off though, it was, it was really easy. Just propping it up on that bit of wood and, and hammering at it, everything came out so much faster and even managed to get a few full lengths without breaking them at all. I've got a few of these nails out as well. I kept them in all in one piece, tried to get them as straight as I could. I'm not sure what I'll do with them, but I'm, I'm sure I'll use them in, a, in another project. Went through and, and picked out the boards that I wanted. Got rid of the ones that were a little bit cracked or a little bit warped. Tried to get ones that, that had a nice grain going through them, just for a, a bit more of a nicer look. This was just figuring out how tall and how wide I wanted the clock to be in the end. So once I'd figured out the size, it was, it was time to glue it all together. Set this up on the floor because I didn't really have enough room up on the bench. It's, it's a bit messy up there at the moment. I'll get around to cleaning it one day. Just went to clamp it all together. This was a pretty easy process. Put a few of these boards over the top and underneath just to, to keep it level as, it, as I clamped it. Knocked over the camera there, she'll be right. And then I, yeah, just clamped it up, left it to dry overnight. Cut an end off and then tried to plane it down. Don't really have much experience with a plane. This is my grandfather's old plane. So <laughs> it didn't take me long before I went onto the electric sander. I've got a bit more experience using this so I can get in the gaps there. And I mean, I think it probably gave it a bit more texture rather than having one, one flat board. Tried a few different finishes for it. There was this, this spray that I used and then the, the, the linseed oil. But honestly, I couldn't really tell the difference from looking at them. So in the end, I just went with the first thing I tried, uh, which was this, the Scandinavian oil. Also known as Danish oil. Just picked this up from Bunnings. It was, was pretty cheap, but I mean, once, once you pour it on and rub it in with a sock, gee, it starts to look good. How's that? Ooh. Needed a spot in the back for the, for the clock mechanism to sit. So I had to route it out with, with my Dremel and then just tried to level it off with the chisel. Don't really have much experience with the chisel, so if, if I'm doing this wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know somewhere in the comments. Just wanted to get it down to a square, so I, I put it up on this, this set of drawers that I had, ran along one edge with a circular saw, went to flip it around and realized it, there was, it was just not wide enough. So I clamped it down to my bench with a straight edge, ran it along. Probably should have done that the first time around. It gave me a, a, a bit of a, a better edge on it, but she'll be right. From there, I just gave it another coat of the oil. This came out really well. Every coat of the oil just started to look better and better. Cut the corners down in this miter box. If you don't have one, get one. Makes my miter corners so much easier. Just use these, these corner brackets to, to get it all held together. Pick them up from Aldi and then with these screws, I, I salvaged them from an old microwave. It came together really good. I'm, I'm really happy I pinched mum and dad's old microwave now. Made sure I pre-drilled all these because the wood was, was pretty likely to split being so thin. Used a few more of the corner brackets to, to get it onto the face of the clock. And uh, yeah, really happy with how that came out. Gave it another sand and then one with a, with a finer grit before giving it the last coat of oil. I think this was, was coat three at this stage and I'm really happy with how that came out. I reckon that looks great. For the clock numbers, just got an old clock, clock from Kmart, drilled out where the numbers went, marked them down and then I had all these marks so I could see where all the numbers should go. For, for the numbers, you can see I've used these bottle caps, they're all from um, Carlton Dry. My, my, this is a present from my little brother and he really loves his Carlton Dry so what better to use than the bottle caps from two six packs. Hot glued all these on. The hot, hot glue stuck fine here. It was, was really good. There was a couple I had to do twice but worked out really well. Just using a pencil to space them from the middle and then they were all on. Really happy. From there I just had to put the, the clock mechanism in, put the hands on, a little button on the front and uh, just hot glue the mechanism in the back. Once that was done, uh, voila, that was it. Oh, 
All right, cool. So that's that's how I made it. Um, if you like this, let me know, and, and who knows, maybe I'll do a bit more of this in the future. Thanks for watching.